Time to play a little game once again. A little more or less coming at you live. There we oh. go. I didn't think we had that game show music, right but uh, yeah, they were never on schedule. But always love that Mark is took piece, by the That's way. That's right, Mark is took. He is High the fives. man. He's an accountant in his free time. He is crunching numbers. By the like no- everything's by the numbers. Yeah. Now the Rams, they had the fewest passing touchdowns in 2015 in the league, just 11. So they had the number one overall pick, mm-hmm. Jared Goff. He has the blonde hair. He's from Cal, looking to do some big things here in Los Angeles. So more or less, more than 16. I like the helmet here, too, the way it stands up on his head. You pointed it out, Brian. I'm going more than 16. I think he's going to have really? a nice rookie year, conservative here. If I'm going to give him 18 touchdown passes, I think he's going to start from day one as well. More or less. Be I say less. Like you said, this team they only had 11 yeah. passes. Don't be a hater, That's not Brian. That's I think great. he will have more than 11, but I don't expect to see golf be a volume quarterback when it comes to attempts, especially in the red zone. We know one thing about a, a Jeff Fisher team. He loves to run the football, yeah, that's and true. I think that's going to be uh, the the strong point for this team offensively until Jared Goff gets more comfortable. Because you look at his schedule and what he will face from the defenses within a division, mm-hmm. quality defenses that he will see. They have a running back who can run the ball, Todd Gurley. Yeah, Miller, as that well. always so helps. That's good. Because I mean, otherwise, Tavon Austin, how many of those touchdowns will will he have? Yeah, right. Well, let's talk about Todd Gurley. Had over 1,100 rushing yards in just 13 games, so more or less 1,500 rushing yards in 2016. That's a big number. Great player. Less. I have to go less. Not based on Todd Gurley, but based on what he will see. Mm-hmm. This upcoming season on this schedule, they have five teams that were top ten in run uh, in rush defense in sure. 2015. Granted, two of these teams, they're the Seahawks and the Cardinals. They will play them twice. So that's a very, very tough task for Todd Gurley to see, especially when teams realize they're facing a rookie quarterback mm-hmm. and their best player is their running back, a guy that they will load the box against. Yeah, I, I love you, man, but I, I got to tell you, they played the Seahawks and Cardinals last year, <laughs> and I watched Gurley, his, his first start, okay, go for a buck 50 on the Cardinals. Yeah, he ran yeah. through them like they weren't even there. That was on the road. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Rams yeah, won yeah. that game. Yeah, I remember that. That. So impressive. I, I think he is going to pass 1,600 yards Ooh. easy easy. I think he averages over 100 yards a game because of all the things that you're talking about. Yep. They're going to have to rely on him. He just may not average as many yards per carry. Mm-hmm. It may take more attempts. Yeah. All right. Let's keep in stride with the business end of the Rams hammer. Gurley, 10 rushing touchdown in those 13 games. So what do you think? More or less than 15 house calls this season, Elliot? You know, touchdowns to me are a little bit different than the yards. And that That's offense true. can bog down in the red zone. They don't have the good red zone targets. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they'll stack up to stop Gurley. I think a lot of field goals. I'm saying less than 15 for that guy. That's a lot of rushing yeah. touchdowns, it's man. no question. I, I agree. I agree with Elliot. I, I mean, 10 for a change. Yeah, we finally agree. Mm. 10 in 2015. <laughs> Granted, he didn't play the entire season. But 15, that's a huge number. Yeah. You know, we haven't seen a running back drop that many touchdowns with Sean Alexander for, uh, for the Seahawks. Sean and, Alexander. And, and I think he LT. was the MVP of the league. And LT, I don't know if he can get to that level. I think the Rams would love to have him get to that number. But when you look at the defenses that he will face, I don't know. I don't. So I I go less. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the Rams secondary. They had 13 interceptions in 2015. Will they have more or less in 2016? You guys know the Rams secondary will have more. I know. Granted, they lost Janoris Jenkins, but they got quality players still within in that secondary. And I think this pass rush would be better. Mm -hmm. And I think that will help the Rams, you know, get more Interceptions. And remember, secondary yeah, sure, yeah, and it's not all. It's not all about the secondary getting getting the interceptions. You can have interceptions from the linebackers mm-hmm. or even the defense alignment. So I think 14 is is a realistic number for this defense. Some more. Boy, I wish we could have done one of those dubbed voice martial arts movies from like the early 70s when you're saying, you know, the Rams have more. I'm a DB. I'm going to say more. That's what I wish. <laughs> That's really what you were saying. They're going to have less. No more Janoris Jenkins. I don't see a lot of ball hawks in their secondary. I think this is going to be a low interception year for them. And I'm not sure that opponents are going to have to be playing a lot of catch up football in the second half to throw those picks. Huh? You want to take DBs, huh? Mm. Well, well, let's keep this stride with defense. The Rams, they racked up 41 sacks last year, so more or less than 41 in 2016. I'll ask our defenses. More. Okay. I, I think this is gonna this will be a special year for this Rams front seven. Uh, Aaron Donald. Whew. He's Ridiculous. a bonus. He can go. He can go. And, you know, uh, you have Robert Quinn also. Mm-hmm. And the way that Greg Williams will call plays for this defense, he will be a very, very aggressive defensive coordinator. I expect to see the Rams get back to that 2013 season where they had around 53 sacks. I think this is going to be a very, very important year for this defense because we all know the strong point of this defense is the front, front seven, seven, especially being led by Robert Quinn and Aaron Donald. 
So what do you want sacks, Elliot? More or less? What do you got? Well, I'm going to say less. I'm going to say less. And I know we're going to run the graphic here and it says Elliot less. Why do you see down? Because yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I think Brian just convinced me. I, I'm starting <laughs> to agree with you. Maybe I should have said more because Robert Quinn didn't really have a big year last year and he's a heck of a pass rusher. I think you, may, I think you convinced me on this one. I said less. And I'm changing my mind. Oh, <laughs> good job, mind. Brian. Yeah, NFL HQ Finally, first. I did something right. Changed his mind <laughs> on the fly. I'm not stubborn like you. <laughs> <laughs>